Wednesday worship, 824-22, a.m., Lebanon, Connecticut. And good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's service. Welcome. The service will begin soon. Join us. So we will do our prelude and then we will get started on a much nicer day in Lebanon. Prelude today is Gentle Voice. All right, thank you, choir. That was very pretty. And very pretty. And it leads into the theme of today's service. So, good morning once again, everybody. Welcome back to Lebanon. And here are your announcements for today. The semester begins in just five days. So going back to work soon, 
And we are hoping to go shopping in Rhode Island either tomorrow or when the next batch of Social Security is received. There is a railroad day in Willimantic on 9-3 where you will see what you saw in the tour of the railroad museum in motion. So if you live in the if you live in Eastern Connecticut, you've been watching these videos, uh, there is opportunity there for you. And speaking of railroads, the next train trip is 9-3 to Mamaronet, New York, and that will be solo. Or it will be done at some point in September. 9-3 is just a guess. There is an open mic next Wednesday at Waldron Studio 88, which is on South Street in Willamette. So it's an opportunity to sing, play, play piano, and, sh and show off your talents. So that is all are welcome. So that will be next Wednesday, the 31st. Anything else you guys want to talk about before we get going? Yeah, good point. There will be assignment walkthroughs throughout the semester, probably on probably the day of when an assignment is being done. Anything else? Well, it is another Wednesday of ordinary time, and this service is an opportunity to basically listen for God's voice and how He is alive in us and through us here in 2022. So receive the call to worship. Jesus said, love one another, even as I have loved you. Love is more powerful than fear. It is mightier than hatred. Let the love of which God has lavished upon us be poured out to those in need. Help us, O Lord, to witness to you by the ways in which you care for others. Remind us, Lord, that we are called to be your disciples. As we worship this morning, heal our hearts and minds and prepare us for service. Amen. And our opening hymn is number 143, This Is My Father's World, courtesy of our friends at the Common Ground Church. This is my father's world, and to my listening ears, all nature sings, and round me rings the music of the spheres. This is my father's world. I rest me in the thought of rocks and trees, of skies and seas, his hands the wonders run. This is my father's world, the 
birds their carols raise, the morning light the lily white declare their maker's praise. Tis my father's world, he shines in all that's fair. In the rustling grass I hear him fast, he speaks to me everywhere. This is my father's world. Oh, let me ne'er forget that though the rod seems oft so strong, God is the ruler yet. This is my father's world. The battle is not done. Jesus, who died, shall be satisfied, and earth and heaven be one. Let's pray. Lord, this morning we come before you, reminding us that this is your world that we live in. You created us. You created our beloved pets and, the, and everything else we see outside. So through the ages, oh God, you have called to us to follow. You led us to freedom, to hope, and peace. So enter our hearts again today and lead us to your healing love that we might serve you in this world that you have loaned to us. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. We bring the sacrifice of praise. Which is our second hymn in the faith we sing, 2031. Courtesy of our friends at the Church of Incarnation. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And we offer up to you the sacrifices of thanksgiving. And we offer up to you the sacrifices of joy. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And we offer up to you the sacrifices of thanksgiving. And we offer up to you the sacrifices of joy. All right, very good. Please be seated. And our anthem this morning is The Journey. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift to Thank you. 
All right. Thank you, Quiet. That was very pretty. So we come to the place of prayer this morning. It's another one of his gifts where we can bring our lives and the lives of those around us. There are a few situations that we need to pray about today. One being, we want to pray that they make a decision soon so we can get back to work and we can begin saving up for that new Boston. We also want to think about the Barbie family. We want to think about just the different things, the, the, the different dynamics at work here. We, and of course, there is a lot that we can still be optimistic about. And of course, I will give you opportunity to lift up those that you know. So our prayer song today is 2203 in his time, courtesy of Caleb Rouse. In his time, in his time, he made all things beautiful. In his time, Lord, please show me every day as you're teaching me your way that you do just what you say in your time Lord, this morning we come before you on a much nicer summer day There is a lot that we can look forward to just within the next handful of days. Be back at it. Earning money. And continuing our journey. To pursue a degree. And to continue on. Get in the education necessary in order to do what Pastor Tom does every week. So it could be role reversal. The need for a new Boston is strong. But when you live in, in a home where you got one person saying yes and the other one saying no, you got to find a way to work around them. And that's what we are learning. We know that in order to get what we want, we have to save up and, and find a way to work around debt. It's not the same with Willow. I think that's completely understandable. She's not ours. Somebody to call her own. To have a new friend. That we can love and cherish. Just as much as we loved and cherished Wilbur who is still really missed even though it's been five months certainly feels longer there are other areas of concern that we 
that we have to lift up to you today. We think of the Barnaby family as that dreaded day from a year ago quickly approaches. We pray that we would like an answer, a sincere answer of why everything happened that day. But as mentioned previously in previous services, those questions cannot be answered here. They can only be answered by one person, or excuse me, by the one person that caused this emotional harm and scarring that is still there. As we will be talking about in the message coming up shortly. There's so much hate in the world. Everybody's quick to judge. You helped me through a lot last semester, and we know you will do the same. We think of, in general, the people that are involved in weather-related issues. And all the rest that's going on in the world. And for the viewers at home, we pause and give you the chance to lift up those that you know. So it's to this end there is still so much that we can look forward to here in 2022 so even now with our with things looking bleak everything will come into play and it isn't that prayer that you taught us saying together our father who are in heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as earth it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In his time, in his time, he makes all things beautiful in your time. Lord, please show me every day as you're teaching me your way that you do just what you say in your time in your time in your time you make all things beautiful in your time Lord, my life to you I bring. May each song I have to sing be to you a lovely thing in your time.
All right, so our offertory today is one that is a new one. Hang on one second. Which explains why So I invite you, as always, to please subscribe to this channel and to continue checking out some of those other videos. I would really encourage you to watch some of those L.A. Noir videos. I know there are many out there that look exactly like them, but, we, but please keep the viewership up. And share these videos with with your friends. So our offertory is God of This City by Chris Tomlin. And will the ushers please come forward as we receive the morning's gifts and offering. So God of This City.
We believe, we believe in you, God. Well, thank you, Chris, Tom, and Ed. We just, we just received word that work study is on the way as well. Exactly what we needed. Please rise. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Lord, you are the God of this city and the end of this town. And we thank you for another opportunity to work at QB. So take these gifts and multiply them and make yourself known throughout the world as we have made our way to the fall semester. And the goal is to have another Boston Terrier when this is when all is said and done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. All right, so reading today comes from 2 Corinthians 4, 13 to 18, and then 5, 1 to 7. So we're not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside, it often looks like things are falling apart on us. On the inside, where God is making new life, not a day goes by without his unfolding grace. These hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times. The lavish celebration prepared for us, there's a farm more here that meets the eye. The things we see now are here today, gone tomorrow. But the things we can't see now will last forever. So we've been doing this series called Know Your Worth. 
and knowing who we are as people, as the people of God. But let's look at this one by one. He's saying that, so we're not giving up. How could we, even though on the outside, it often looks like things are falling apart. Yes, it does. You know, we reach the high points in our lives. We reach the low points in our lives. All of that is normal. Everybody goes through phases. You know, you go through a relationship that you thought was a good one. And then they turn around and throw it back in your face. That is what happens, guys. You take the relationship with Charlie and you just look at it in general. You know, he tried to change me. He tried to make me think like, oh, he was, you know, number one. Well, he was number one in my book, but he didn't have to be number one for his employment and whatever else he did in between in the in between visits each week. Now this is what this is kind of his I think this was his way of him showing the people that he works with that he can do this and he wants to be number one the apple of everybody's eye. Well, now that may be something that you want, but you don't have to be that way in your employment. You don't have to be like that. And, you know, when he was running those groups, running those trainings, and so on, he did it. That wasn't necessary at all. It wasn't. That was to make him feel good, to make him know who he was as a employee, not as just as a person. You see, when we get in this mindset of thinking that like we have to be number one and we have to show off, then that lead that will naturally lead people that we are in a relationship with or people that we have relationships with that will make that will I guarantee you automatically make them think that your employment is more important to them than you are On the inside, we're guys making new life. Exactly. This is how this works, guys. You reach your look when you get to your low points, you just you find yourself just sitting back and just thinking, overthinking things. Thinking that, you know, you might not be good enough for anybody. Second, you know, you wonder, you wonder whether or not, you know, it will, it would continue. I'm talking about word study here. And third, you, and then third, you don't know what is to come. And when you want, and as I talked about last week, when you want something to be set right, immediately, that doesn't necessarily happen in the blink of an eye. It does, it does. Everything takes time. The lavish celebration prepared for us is far more here than meets the eye. But the things we see now are here today, gone tomorrow, but the things we can't see now will last forever. And that's exactly what this is, guys. Drooling here. This is what this is about. We know deep down we want a new Boston. 
We want somebody that we can love and cherish just as much as we loved and cherish Wilbur. That is understood in this house. I guarantee you. If you ask mom or dad, they would tell you that yes, it is understood. But it's something that we can't have right now. It doesn't mean we can't have one, you know, towards the end of the semester and maybe even into next semester. It's because of the timing, of the timing of wanting one. You figure I start school and I start work next week, so I won't have, so I wouldn't have the time to train it. And who would look after it when I was at work? But everything takes time and to save up, guys. A lot of this has to do has to do with financial purposes. You know, it's all well and good if you want. There, there ain't nothing wrong with getting what you want. It's just when you have the means to do it, then people won't yell at you if you say to them, if, you know, maybe after a few paychecks, you know, we save up enough money, you know, maybe go look at the different resources that I found and find one that we can get ourselves. You know, like with that new, with the new car, all of this is doable. As he says in the next piece, for instance, we know that when these bodies of ours are taken down like tents and folded away, they will be replaced by resurrection bodies. Exactly. So Wilbur's body, obviously, is cremated right on top of my TV. But then he will be resurrected when a new pup comes. And we love and cherish a new pup just as much as we loved and cherished Wilbur. God made, not handmade, and will never have to relocate our tents again. Exactly. When we set it right with people that we know and people that we love, then they will see what we are capable of doing. Now, I'm not saying that I think Charlie is a bad individual. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is I think he is think he is used to living this lifestyle of thinking that everything is yes. And to just be able to do everything yeah. Excuse me. And just and to just think that he can just get away with this, get away with this kind of behavior. Now I know he's thirty something years old, but when you try to change somebody that you're with, that's a no no. Everybody is different. People get caught up in the labeling, and this is how God works in helping us know our worth. We all have different things, maybe medical conditions. Maybe we think th think of things differently. You know, maybe we have a different answer. Everybody is different. And people get caught up in the labeling. For people that are on the spectrum, like myself. They get caught up in the labeling. And they don't know and they don't allow themselves to see the good and what the person can do. Obviously, if you work retail, you know, when you, if you worked at Walmart and you're a cashier, 
you know, you better be on some of these good sites, otherwise, otherwise you're gone. That is knowing our worth. Knowing that knowing that something better will come. And understanding again this whole idea of, of how God works in our lives and he helps us know who we are. We've been a glit bit excuse me. We've been given a glimpse of the real thing, our true home, our resurrected bodies. Exactly. You know, it is every semester is a new chapter. Just like every relationship is a new chapter as well. I want to finish off this message with talking about the relationship with Eduardo. So obviously the one with Charlie, meh, it was it was kind of an up and down road, depending on the day, so to speak. But I want to look at the relationship with Eduardo now. Now, there is, I noticed some differences. He cared enough. He didn't judge us. He didn't try to change us. None of that. And he let us know when things would change. So that way we can plan for it. And make the adjustments. But, I want to talk about two things that with, with the red flags. One being the first time he went to Texas, which is where he lives. He's a travel nurse. So obviously, his own home is not Connecticut. So when he, he said, I'm going down to Dallas for three weeks to work, it's going to be El Paso. And my first thought was, Okay, I'm like, oh, okay, so I'll see you when you come back. But it turned out he was going to see his family. Now, why didn't he just say that in the first place? Wouldn't it have been easier to just to be honest and just say that is what you were doing? No, it was easier for him to lie. That was red flag number one. Number two, when you try to have a serious conversation with him, he uses the term LOL. And that, and you know, there are conversations that should not be had in the text. There isn't. And this is thinking about who we are as individuals. And as we walk through life, anything is possible. Amen. Closing him today is Cry in My Heart. It is the cry of my heart to follow you. It is the cry of my heart to be close to you. It is the cry of my heart to follow all of the days of my life. Teach me your holy ways, O oh Lord, so I can walk in your truth. Teach me your holy ways, O oh Lord, and make me wholly devoted to you. It is the cry of my heart to follow you. It is the cry of my heart to be close to you. It is the cry of my heart to follow all of the days of my life. Open my eyes so I can see. 
the wonderful things that you do. Open my heart and more and more and make me wholly devoted to you. Receive the benediction. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he help you walk through life. And knowing who you are as individuals and not a convenience to anybody. Amen. And thank you for watching.